If you have a traditional view of sexuality and sexual morality, this is almost necessarily a problem. We're not having a conversation right now about women's roles in society. We're having a conversation about the structure of society. Me Too movement, all of that is because of men and women working so closely together in the workforce. There is this unspoken assumption that we ought to be slaves to the continuing of society. It's not a question of are women happy, not happy, are they fulfilled, not fulfilled. The feminist society isn't working. And our new guest, our surprise guest, is jumping in right now. Welcome, Destiny. Oh, there he is. No Thank way! You. Welcome, wow, Destiny. Wow, let's yes. go. Let's Good to go. see you again. Let's go. Let's go. I well, let's hear women. Destiny's opening statement. What's your statement? Go for it, Destiny. What's the, what's the topic? What are we talking about? Anything you'd like. <laughs> is there a war, war on women? Talking about how much we hate women. What's the okay, last Fuck that said? statement. Let me, this is my, first of all, James. Nice tattoo, okay? You appreciate that. <laughs> okay, here's the society that we should build, okay? All of you are wrong, okay? No, I'm just kidding. This, I think, I think this, should be, this should be the goal, okay? We have some sexual traits that are varied between men and women. That much is true. Men tend to be taller, men tend to be stronger, women might be gravitating more towards like caregiver type things, psychology, et cetera, et cetera. We can recognize that there are some realities here and accept that that is the case, but, just because we have to acknowledge that there are some differences, I don't think that means that we have to build a restrictive society that prevents somebody from stepping outside of those differences. There might be a gay dude that's really fucking good at making certain types of shoes. Let him make shoes. He doesn't have to live the life of a fucking hunter-gatherer that's ready to shoot and kill criminals breaking into his wife's home. He could live with his boyfriend in San Francisco and make awesome clothes. There might be a woman out there who she does want to go into the military. She does the work. She lifts a lot. She's tall, fucking brand of chart or whatever. Let her fucking do it if she can. I think that we deprive not only individuals in our society of the ability to pursue the best life that they can, but we also deprive ourselves as a society of their talents by boxing them into these really rigid gender roles, just because like 85 or 90% of people happen to fit. Yeah. Here's the I, I agree hundred the percent with Destiny on, there. We, we've heard from the pro woman side and Destiny, I'm very disappointed. I thought you hated women like I did, but you're coming in here and telling us they should be uh, rocket ship designers and building missiles and things like that. So the thing is, and, and I said this with uh, Lauren when she was on earlier, I don't think the problem is necessarily that women are working or even maybe the kind of work that women are doing. It really has to do with the segregation and the promotion of women in certain fields. The problem is the co-ed nature of what women are doing right now, that women are intermixed with men throughout the society. The problem is that women are pursuing career and education at the expense of marriage. And if you have a traditional view of sexuality and sexual morality, this is almost necessarily a problem. The more that women are educated, the more that women are in the workplace, the lower the fertility rate, the, the longer it takes for women to get married. Uh, this is a real problem for a society that's trying to retain sexual morality. It's a problem where uh, men are supposed to express their sexuality in a virtuous way. And then also the problem is, uh, in, in some instances, the domains that women are in that I think are a total construct of affirmative action. I think that, you know, if women want to be, uh, you know, researching or whatever, I think you create a women's division of that, like you have a women's division of sports and women's division of everything. I think the principal objection is not that women create value in the society. Women can create value in society a lot of ways. I think that primarily that is through child rearing, you know, in, in the old days, they would uh, answer the phones and be the secretaries and school teachers. And, you know, I, I think that, again, when that's segregated, maybe that's appropriate. The question is maybe not necessarily could that be expanded to other things. I think the question is, is that being pushed to the detriment of motherhood? Is that being pushed to the detriment of regeneration of society? Is that being pushed too forcefully, artificially or forced at all? And then the problem is uh, when it's not segregated, does that create a problem with temptation, sexual assault, all this ambiguity that you see? Me Too movement, all of that is because of men and women working so closely together in the workforce. That's a source of adultery. That's a source of temptation. Nick, source of I'm, a hearing lot of a, I'm hearing a lot You're of the. I'm hearing a lot of. You're interrupting assertion. again. You're interrupting. Yeah, I am. Why are you in conflict? Yeah, they should be. I sure. think they Which should is, be property essentially, but uh, so but should that. they not be able to? That's be fine. That's good. But that's good. Society. I love that. I love that. I like that. 
right? We can talk, we can attack the Mott and the Bailey. Okay, that's fine. So let's, so moving the conversation one step further, okay? This is something that we have to recognize. We're not having a conversation right now about women's roles in society. We're having a conversation about the structure of society and whether or not we want a more liberal world order where people kind of have a right to choose what they want to do, or if we want to have a more uh, Christian nationalist, I don't want to say fascist, but like, like, because I'm not trying to be insulting, but if we should have a world order where people are kind of forced to inhabit these, these gender roles that are building good Christian societies. And the reality is that insofar as we live in a democratic society, people ought to have that ability to choose the path that they think is right for them. If you want to build a Christian community and you want to build a Christian family, family, you have the right to do that. And this is what makes things like capitalism and liberalism so great. A lot of different structures can exist within that structure. It's very flexible. Here's the thing. It's not about women's fulfillment. And the other thing is, it's also not an individual society. I'll just say it very plainly. It's not a question of are women happy, not happy? Are they fulfilled, not fulfilled? The feminist society isn't working. And we know that it's not working because of one reason alone. Family formation is not happening. The fertility rate is below the replacement level. Society is not regenerating itself. You could say that maybe the best metric, the surest metric, maybe the most relevant or one of the only relevant metrics is are men and women getting together and forming families successfully staying together and having kids, because that is what you need to perpetuate the society. That is what you need to imbue culture from one generation to the next. That's what you need to have a next generation is for men and women to get together. And ever since, and you can see this across the developed world, and some people say this is because of uh, the economy. Some people say this is because of technology, but you know, and, and certainly those things correlate. The fact is that all of these societies where women have this role in the workplace, where women are being educated, where there's co, uh, what is it, co-ed workplaces and education, families are not being formed and the next generation is not proceeding. Now, the same cannot be said in the Middle East. The same cannot be said in Africa. Same cannot be said, well, increasingly it is, but historically in Latin America. The feminist idea is failing basically on that metric alone. And so if you have a society that's blowing up and exploding because it's shrinking every year, because men and women are not getting together, because women are going out and exploring work and men are not interested in that, and then they're not forming families and not having kids, you don't have a society. That is the quintessential problem. And, and you know, why are you having that problem you're, you're having that problem because men and women need to be getting why together you, when they're fertile. Nick, and the why thing do you want to live problem, in the Middle East? Wait, uh, hold on, no, stop. Why, why yeah, do you think honestly, yeah, I, I, would I said that on my okay. show last week. They're building oh, the line in Saudi Arabia. It sounds awesome. Saying, There's no alcohol. Women can't drive. They're forced to wear burqas. <laughs> so, so you are it's moving It's a super there. city. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, 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 I would be fine with that. Also, you interrupt I'm with Nick on that, actually. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. But Nick, wait, wait, one second. So, Nick, um, so why, so Japan has a lower birth rate than the United States does, right? They also have a very patriarchal society. Right, that that does push women into, uh, I think, traditional Japanese roles, right? That are that I think pretty similar to to like uh, traditional Western roles. So why do you think their birth rate, given that they have a much more patriarchal society that is being enforced, why do you think their birth rate is so much lower than ours? I don't think that's entirely true. I think that women are working in Japan, and you know I don't really know that it's much. It's just about the fact Japan. that they're working. Like that's it. Uh, well, isn't that kind of the question of this debate? It, is it's the role not. Of women you, in society? It's not though. So women it, are, it, it, yes, it okay. absolutely is. And women are. You just talked about women being given the option to be educated and work, and you say it's not relevant if women are to a large extent being educated and working in Japan. That's the principle. That that is one of the things that defines modernity, along with technology, along with education. It is the expansion of the role of women. That's how you classify. It. That's Nick, why we say think, Africa's primitive. I think. I think when we talk about a this, I think the welfare state. So I think one of the the, the big philosophical question here, um, and people from the left run from it. I don't think we should. I think it's a thing to talk about. Right? Is there is this unspoken assumption that we ought to be slaves to the continuing of society, and I think that assumption can be challenged. I don't think that you have the right to tell. 50% of the population that we are necessarily going to force you to live a certain type of lifestyle, because if you don't, then within 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 years, it might be the case that humanity goes extinct. I don't think that that's acceptable, that you are forced to carry the burden of the existence of the future of the human race through the way that you live individually in your life. It might be the case that at some point far off into the future, that like having a smaller population becomes you know some sort of negative, but I don't think we're at that point right now, right? It would probably reduce energy 
energy expenditure around the world and make it easier for people to live in different areas. Maybe our cities wouldn't be as crowded, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think that you need a stronger argument than uh, the, the birth rates are negative. I don't think that in and of itself is, is an argument that's strong enough to force people to commit to a certain type of lifestyle. Well, it's not about forcing them. It's just about recognizing objectively the success of the feminist project. And if you could say that a society is succeeding, if you could say that a society is thriving and vital, you would say that all of those things are, are bound up in whether or not families are being formed and kids are that's, being made. So it's but, not to say that we're slaves to continuing the, it, the generations. It's to say that's that the is, metric of a successful society. But that, that, that kind of, that is what you were saying though, right? You, Cause you're saying that I'm not saying we have to be slaves to like having families. I'm just saying that we need to have like successful societies, but what you said, your words were him, your idea of a successful society is one that's growing in population. Your because measure of that was not exist. Exist. Steven, Wait, hold on, hold Steven. on. But you don't strengthen a society just by having more people. There are tons of different ways to strengthen societies. We can talk about it sociologically. We can talk about it yeah, culturally. Yeah, but that's a baseline. That's baseline. Society, that's, you need as long as it doesn't exist. And society no, 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 only hold on. exists if people have children. So like, okay. you can't have a strong society in the first so place. So if you if want, you open kids. Wolfram Alpha or get a fucking math friend and you could plug in the functions, do the math. We're not going to lose everybody in two years or in two well, generations or in 200. Okay, so the idea that in 10,000 years, humanity might go extinct. Therefore, half the population right now needs to be forced to live a certain life lifestyle. Otherwise, we're going to run the risk of not being able to well, repopulate the planet. we're doing that with the climate agenda. Just, no, we're not that's doing exactly that with the climate That's exactly what your side no, is exact, trying to, that's, trying to no, change no, the way in which no, people no, live. No, no.